Let's explore the power of story mapping, a visual and collaborative technique that helps teams understand the user journey, prioritize work and deliver valuable products. What is story mapping? Story mapping is a visual method for organizing user stories to create a shared understanding of the product and its journey. It was popularized by Jeff Patton, who described it as a way to visualize the entire workflow from the user's perspective. A story map arranges user stories in a two-dimensional grid showing the sequence of activities and the details of each task. What do you get with story mapping? You get visual representation. Story mapping provides a visual overview of the user journey, making it easy to understand the flow of activities and how different features fit together. This visualization helps teams see the big picture and identify gaps or redundancies. You get enhanced collaboration. Story mapping is a collaborative activity that involves the entire team including product owners, developers, designers, and stakeholders. This collaboration ensures that everyone has a shared understanding of the product and its goals. There's prioritization and focus. By organizing stories based on their importance and sequence, story mapping helps teams prioritize work effectively. It allows for a clear distinction between essential features and nice to haves, ensuring that the most valuable work is tackled first. There's user centricity. Story mapping keeps the focus on the user's needs and experiences. It helps teams think from the user's perspective, ensuring that the product delivers real value and meets user expectations. There's roadmap creation. Story maps serve as a roadmap, guiding the development process and providing a clear path from initial concept to final delivery. This roadmap helps in planning releases and managing scope effectively. With the benefits of story mapping clear, how do you create story maps? Well, creating a story map involves several steps. Firstly, you define the user journey. You start by identifying the main goals or activities that users need to accomplish with the product. These goals form the backbone of your story map and are arranged horizontally. You break down activities into tasks. For each user goal, break it down into specific tasks or actions that the user needs to perform. These tasks are arranged vertically under each goal, forming a sequence of steps. You organize and prioritize stories. You connect user stories or features with each task. Prioritize these stories based on their importance and the value they deliver. High priority stories are placed at the top, while low priority ones go towards the bottom. You identify the MVP and releases. Use the story map to identify the minimum viable product or MVP, which is the smallest set of features that deliver value to users. Plan subsequent releases by grouping stories into iterations or sprints. You collaborate and refine. Involve the entire team in creating and refining the story map. Regularly review and update the map to reflect changes in priorities, user feedback, and new insights. So to wrap this up, Story mapping is a powerful technique that enhances collaboration, prioritizes work, and keeps the focus on delivering user value. By visualizing the user journey and organizing stories effectively, teams can ensure they are building the right product in the right way at the right time. Embrace story mapping as a part of your Agile toolkit and watch your projects and products become more user-centric and efficient. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss and update. And don't forget to check out the range of courses I offer that are trusted by organizations around the world, including the US government, EY, Cognizant, Accenture, Tata, and many more. You'll find all the details in the description below. Plus, you can connect with me on LinkedIn where I share plenty of valuable content. Make sure to check out my video on user stories and my video on the best agile frameworks to use.